Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Hauls and more. And today I have my final Valentine's Day DIY video for y'all. And it is going to be an anti-Valentine's Day. I thought it would just be cute and fun. So for the, for the first DIY here, I'm taking this little um, wooden sign I had on hand for years now from the Goodwill. And I am just painting the front of it with two thick coats of Waverly white chalk paint. And then once that sets up and dries, I am going to paint the edges of it in the black or ink Waverly chalk paint. Just one coat for that. Now once all that paint has dried, I'm going to take my sanding sponge and just um, distress the edges of this entire wood frame we have here. And then I'm going to use um, a vinyl decal that I cut out with my Cricut Maker again. And this one is going to say Vodka is my Valentine. Uh, yeah, is my Valentine. So it'll be in black and pink. So you will see me putting on two different layers. So first the black and then the pink. And here is this one completed and it's on my bar cart, which we, um, is also considered a baker's rack. And I just have it in front of all the little bottles of liquor or mixes we have for the liquor and shot glasses. And then we are going to move into DIY number two. I am just taking this wood hexagon shape from the Dollar Tree. I'm removing the label on there. And then I'm going to use my sanding sponge to get off the stickiness from that sticker along with any splintered edges that this piece might have i will then use my painter's tape to cover just like maybe a fourth of an inch border around this hexagon shape and then i am going to paint it in the center of all that tape with one thick coat of white waverly chalk paint Once I was done painting that, I took off the painter's tape before the paint dried. That way it could dry without that tape getting stuck on. Once the paint did dry, however, I did take this little decal I had cut out on some red heat transfer vinyl. Um, and I am going to use my heat press at 300 de degrees for 40 seconds to get this to adhere to the wood. And it says 
Cupid rhymes with stupid. I just thought it was super cute. And that was also already in the Cricut Maker Design space. And there is that little sign completed. I think it turned out really cute. And it's just funny to me. Now we'll move into DIY number three. I'm using one of the 8x10 black canvases you get from Dollar Tree. And I am um, going to use white heat transfer vinyl along with pink hand, bleh, heat transfer vinyl to adhere this to the canvas at 340 degrees for 30 seconds in each spot. It is just going to be a Valentine's Day planner and once you guys see it completed, you guys will see the little checklist. So all the words except for the word plan is done in white and then the rest of it is going to be done in pink. You will see me go back over this in a cup in another project or two with the heat press just because sometimes I, even when you follow the, 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 the goodness gracious the directions to a T that the cricket gives you for the heat uh, transfer it doesn't always work so you just have to add more heat to get it to stay stuck onto whatever your surface is going to be. Here you see me just using the sanding sponge to bring out the edging of the actual wooden frame that's underneath the canvas and to distress it a little bit. And then here's this one completed. It says breakfast in bed, eat chocolate, watch a movie, and cry alone. This was already in the Cricut design space and I just thought it was super cute, super funny, so I wanted it on a canvas. And now we'll move into the next DIY. This one is super easy. I just took another 8x10 black canvas I had from the Dollar Tree and I had printed out from the Cricut Design Space this little um, phrase that says, Ew, Valentine's Day. Use the white heat transfer vinyl to put that on my canvas. Uh, heat it up to 340 degrees for 30 seconds and then went back over it as needed in the areas that wouldn't stick down. And here is that one completed as well. Super cute, super simple, very um, neutral, fits in with any decor, and I thought it was hysterical. And then we'll move into DIY number five. I'm going to take this frame that says Sarcasm Welcome that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, that phrase is printed on the back of it. Acetone never works for me to get this stuff off of any of the frame, uh, glass that they have, so I just take some Windex and soak the letters in it and use my razor blade scraper here to scrape that away, and then I will clean it up with some Windex, more Windex and paper towel once that is um, all gone. So once that's all cleaned up and dried, I am using this decal I had got out of the Cricut Design Space again as well. And it is a dead bleeding heart. And I had printed it out on some pink premium vinyl by Cricut. And I just stick it to the center of this uh, glass frame and pull off the transfer tape. 
and that will be it for this one super easy super cute super funny and i have it sitting um with the other anti-valentine's day signs i had made so there it is on a candle just to give it height like a candle holder and then i have it just sitting on the cabinet as well And on to the final DIY, DIY number six. I am making myself an anti-Valentine's Day t-shirt. So I had this bright pink Hanes tagless t-shirt in the size large from the Dollar Tree on hand. And the first thing I wanted to do was do the bleach effect to this. So I laid it down on a garbage bag because it is too cold here in PA to be going outside to do any of this. And then I took another garbage bag and stuck my cutting mat in the center of it just so it um, had, wouldn't bleed through. And then I had a spray bottle full of bleach and just sprayed everywhere I wanted it to fade the color. Once that was done and dry enough, I did hang it up in my kitchen window facing the sun to help it dry and to get that color to change. And then I go back to it the next day. So here it is the next day. And I had to heat up my heat press to 360 degrees for 120 seconds while that was doing its thing. I stick my cardboard wrapped in a towel inside of here along with some Teflon paper on top of it. So the, the infusible ink sheet I'm using will not bleed through. And I also have a towel down on the floor. I'm going to use my lint roller to just lint over the, get lint off the top of this where my decal is going to go. And I am going to use my heat press to iron it out as well. Once that is done, I lay down my image that I printed out. I just combined the Ill Valentine's Day with the Dead Bleeding Heart. Both were from Cricut Design Space, and I was able to group them together and cut it all out in one. And then I'm going to put my Teflon paper over top and use my heat press to get this all um, set into the fabric. Now that it's all set up in the fabric, I just removed the Teflon sheet and the plastic that had the infusible ink stock on it, and this is the completed image. It does look a little burnt, but I think that will come out in the wash, and I just tried it on before putting it in the wash. If you are to um, wash these, make sure it's inside out and hang dry. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys choose to stick around. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up or a like, comment, and all that goodness. Thank you so much for spending some more time with me today. I love you all so much.